Hi, uh, welcome to Survival Skills. So today I wanted to go take a look at the uh, flower forms. Uh, Nancy finished those and uh, I haven't seen them yet. So we're going to go over there and take a look at the, uh, the castle that she built. And she's got all the flowers from four farms going into a nice uh, item sorter. And she, we're using chest shop on here. So she's got her, her flower shops set up. So let's go take a look. Um, let me go into first person and I'll go get my horse and we'll ride over there. So um, I've been doing a little bit of work here. We'll come back and take a look at this some other time. But um, I did a, uh, a farm out back and um, I did a cow pen and a sheep pen and did a little bit more decorating. This is starting to shape up and then I'm trying to figure out if maybe I should put a storage area uh, around here somewhere because my storage is getting pretty clogged up but that's for another time uh, I still need to finish this bridge it's okay like this but uh, I want to make a nice bridge there that'll finish this off so we've got the the bee and uh, honey farm uh, here and then right over the hill from that we've got the flower farms so we can do flowers and dyes and then we can make stuff, you know, with the dyes like dyed, uh, dyed armor and things like that. Dyed wool. So here's the, uh, this is her storage area over here. So this is just, it's a big dome. And um, inside she just lines it with chests. We can go over there and look. And then that's where she's going to live. And um, that's where the uh, flower shop is. Let's, let's just take a right here and go take a look at the storage. So this was the first thing that was built here. Um, and uh, it's, this is leftovers from building this. This was uh, just a little smelter we put together to get some glass. We're going to put some stables here at some point. Oops, she's got a claim on it, so I'll override that so I can go in. And uh, this is the, the layout, and you can see there's lots of room for chests, nothing fancy. There are no item sorters or anything in here, just labeled chests and rooms for lots, lots more. So I don't think she'll be running short on storage anytime soon. And... I'm sure she's not done decorating this yet, but it uh, serves its purpose. Where did my horse go? Go. I just turned my back on him. So that's our storage area. And you know, there are just nice views all around this place. Let's ride over to the, the castle and we'll take a look at the, uh, the flower farm. So this is where we first she first settled is the very first thing she did was dug out this mine area. And then uh, she expanded out and did the storage area and then she did uh, the actual castle. So. We, uh, she built some flower farms under here, a little bit different design than the de design I use, a little bit bigger and, uh, and very efficient. And then here was um, a set of uh, flower farms that we built. We've got two farms under here, and um, we're using the design that I showed in previous videos, but it was modified because we did uh, farms, two different farms right next to each other. We're in a flower biome, so the flowers get mapped to XD coordinates. I'll put a card up uh, here so that you can go look at the video where I explain that if you like. And uh, so we can just, actually the horse can't go through the gate, we just jump over. So we're in the castle. So let me just hop off here and take a, take a little look from back here so you can see what the front of it looks like. So this is a mythical sausage build, and 
she's gave, she's done some really uh, fantastic stuff in her uh, single user world and um, on realms with some other people and she's just like a, a really good builder uh, but she she really liked this build this was mythical sausage so she she just built uh, off of his tutorial here and it fits really nicely into uh, into the scheme of things here let me just bring the sun up so um, this this is the uh, the flower farm she just got done decorating so I'm looking forward to seeing what she did oh she did she made a horse pin here okay this is new I didn't see this before so she's got a place for her horse now I could put my horse in there too but I'll just let him roam around he can't get out and then um, just an area back here for uh, storage and uh, and just for looks basically just detail work just to make the place look nicer and a little uh, lookout area here the magnificent view of the mountains and the, the, the biome and then I really like this lake here the way this looks um, she's got a really nice view off of her front porch so let's go inside and take a look around so uh, we come in the front door right here and forgive me if I'm a little little halting because I haven't seen this since she decorated it so I'm just looking around for my first time so you know myth mythical sausage is really good at adding tons of details to the interiors just simple details right nothing super fancy but it just fits so lots of storage that just kind of like worked into the interior and then um, you know creature comforts dining room table paintings on the walls it's really uh, amazing how good a few paintings can make a place look if you if, if they're well placed and banners too don't forget about banners um, place to sit and eat bench style and um, the sink and the cupboards and place to cook really nice I like that nice simple chandelier simple right these lanterns are one of the best things that my Mojang ever made and then back into here let's see so we got some reading material and um, this looks like just a bedroom Sorry, I'm, I'm jerking around the mouse a little bit here because I'm just looking around for myself. Kind of a cute little window. And uh, this probably goes down to the farms, I'm guessing. And this comes up from the farms. But let's take a look upstairs real quick. So here's where all the, uh, you know, a lot more storage just tucked away back here just simple chests in this case so just more storage you, you can never have too much storage my storage is completely clogged I'm gonna have to do something um, pretty soon about that I like the uh, the detail with the trap doors and these are either planks or slabs nice so, you know, one, one thing about a good builder is that um, even places where you wouldn't normally look, you know, uh, they detail it. So, this place looks really, really good. So cozy, just such a perfect size. So, let's go down to the flower farms here, or let's see where this takes us. I think this will bring us down. Yeah, okay. So... I saw this in development so this room right here is when we warp here I set a warp to right here this is where you you land so it's just a nice relaxing area you know to uh, to uh, warp to you can just hang out and uh, have a seat on the bench and look at the waterfall 
and just just relax you know take it easy and then uh, if you want um, if you want to load up on some flowers you can get some double tall flowers these weren't here before so now we use a chest shop to make up these chests I'm an admin an operator so I can open you know any chest but other players can only buy stuff from these chests and they would do that by clicking on these signs so this is Nancy's place and then she's she's selling these in groups of 64 and the cost to buy 64 of these is five server dollars I set up a server economy that's based on um, obsidian diamonds and emeralds so you can go if you don't have any money you can go to the bank and you can sell obsidian diamonds and emeralds to get started and then you can make money by and spend money by visiting other players shops so 64 sunflowers for five dollars from that chest so you can buy all these you probably don't need that many right you buy one unless you don't have bone meal right or, or maybe if you're a builder you don't care you just want to come buy this stuff um, if we had a redstone shop I would just buy the redstone I wouldn't make my own anyway so these are the other flowers so we've got four flower farms feeding this and there's an item sorter behind this and um, the the flowers come in via water streams from all the other flower farms and they come into this central location and they feed into this item sorter Let's see if I can see it from back here so they'll come in here see that ice there that's part of the uh, the water uh, stream network that comes into this chest right here and feeds into the sorter and the flowers come down down this sorter they get pulled down into their respective chests by these filter hoppers this is just an overflow chest for anything that's been missed and they end up in these chests so we just she just puts um, the chest shop uh, signs on these chests so that we can buy uh, flowers from her very nice and I just really like the way that the decorations were done I would have never thought to do like this uh, this color here I think this is terracotta let me see right purple terracotta we've got a warp to um, a Badlands biome so we can just go mine up terracotta and dye it so um, she was able to do this all in terracotta and then we got lots of spruce farms so spruce is no problem um, and then what's left would be to show all the alleyways and the twists and turns of how we get the flowers to the item sorter but I'll, I'll spare you that that's just uh, water mechanics um, but this uh, this let's see I don't even know where this goes where does this go so this probably goes up to the farms so we're not going to go walking around back there I always get lost when I go back there let me see how to get out of here and um, so this should take us back upstairs yep back to the cozy uh, castle so that uh that looks so good it's done now and i don't know what she's got planned next oh she wants to do a squid farm to get ink and she's going to do a flower um, farm in the swamp that is right down the road from my um, from my bee farm so that will give us those uh, what do they call them those light blue flowers that grow in the swamps I don't remember the name of them and that'll make this complete we'll be able to get any kind of flower or dye that we want from this farm when that's done so uh, I just think what a fantastic job she did here and um, it's such a beautiful addition to the server uh, and and it gives us resources to make other beautiful things here so um, you know we've got a discord I have put the link in the description to the video come see us there and um, just for nothing else just to give you something to do you know you 
kind of bored, stuck in the house, and you want to chat with some people that have um, something in common with you, come see us on Discord. And uh, also, uh, if you if you like the community, you can come on this server and play with us. Uh, I'm the, the owner of this server, so uh, I, I can put you on the white list, and you can come play here. And uh, I've also got a Twitch account that I'm gonna I'm gonna get that going here pretty soon and start live streaming because believe me this is the tip of the iceberg that I'm showing you here we've done so much work um, uh, on this server that it, I just don't have time to videotape it all and I just figured it might be fun for you for some people I know I I follow a, a streamer. Um, that that I just sometimes I, I if I'm not playing I like to watch other people play so I'm going to add that to uh, to the offerings here and uh, once I get it all set up I'll uh, I'll advertise more there is a link to my Twitch stream in the video as well and uh, once I get it ready to go I'll uh, I'll make a bigger deal out of it and and advertise more anyway. Um, that's it for today. Uh, please uh, click the like button if you like the video. If you have questions or comments, please leave those below. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on future content, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Um, thanks a lot for all your views. I really appreciate your support. And uh, you know you don't have to uh, uh, subscribe or anything. You can just come to our um, our uh, discord channel if you just want to talk and uh, you can come play on the server with us if if you would like to play in a, a beautiful world this world is wide open it's developing but there's still plenty of room on here to build stuff so anyway thanks a lot for watching I'll try to get these videos out more frequently um, to give you all something give us all something to do and um, I'll see you all in the next video Bye.